Well, if you let's see if Mr. Harrington is ready for his PE lesson. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Go. Oh, he's all asleep. Mr. Harrington, Mr. Harrington. What? What? It's it's so that you need to do a PE P lesson. Come on, get up, get up. P what now? Yeah. Is it that time? Yes! Oh my goodness me, give me a second. Oh. Right, I'm ready. Hello, reception children, and welcome to Mr. Harrington's five minute front room fitness, okay? Now, today, I know you've been doing lots of work at home, but it's time for you to get moving as well, okay? So we've got three activities for you today. One is a throwing activity, to do with using our eyes, our arms and our hands. Another one is going to be a jumping activity to do with our feet. And don't forget what we need to do when we do jumps. That's right, we need to bend our knees. Don't forget because I'm going to be watching. And our last one is going to be a leg activity and a shoulder activity. So we're going to do these in circuits. So after you've done one activity, you're going to do the next one and the next one, and you're gonna do each one for 30 seconds. What numbers make 30? Who can tell me? Hmm, that's right, a three and a zero, well done. Okay, the first one. I need some gym equipment, but I haven't got any, so what am I gonna do? It doesn't matter, you don't need gym equipment. What you need for our first one is a pair of cheesy socks. Oh, super cheese. Now I know you've got cheesy socks at home because I've smelt your socks when you've got changed for pee in school. Ooh, ooh. So our first one, remember, using our eyes, using our arms and our hands, we're gonna be throwing and catching. Okay, so if you watch, don't worry about what your hands are doing too much. Use your eyes and your hands will follow. Okay, so if you watch, watch my head because I'm gonna follow them all the way. And my hands, automatically go back to where my eyes are following. Now, if you want to do this a slightly different way, you can get with your adult or your sister or your brother, and you could do a paired one throwing between you and moving apart a little bit as you get more comfortable with your catching. So that's your first activity, and you're gonna do that for 30 seconds. What numbers make 30 again? That's right, a three and a zero, well done. Our second activity is our jumping one. But I haven't got any hurdles at home to jump over. I haven't got any speed bouncing mats to jump over. So what am I gonna use? What you can use is a towel. You get yourself a towel, you fold it up like so, you put it on the carpet like that, and that's what you're gonna jump over, okay? So remember, when we're doing our jumping, we keep our feet together, Okay, we bend our knees a little bit, but as we jump from side to side, we need to move our body weight this way. So if I'm jumping this way, I'm gonna swing and jump over. What did I do when I landed? That's right, I bent my knees. Don't forget to bend your knees. And when I come back this way, I'm gonna move my body weight left. Okay, ready, swing and bounce. Okay, you're gonna do that for how many seconds? 30 seconds, that's right, a three and a zero. So that's your second part of your circuit. Your last part of your circuit is called the soup squat, because all you need is a tin of soup. I've got chicken noodle. Mmm, everyone loves chicken noodle. Keeps you healthy as well. So what you do with your chicken noodle soup is, you put your feet about this far apart, you're gonna hold the soup in front of you. I'm gonna bend down, holding the soup in front, keep my head up all the time. I'm gonna squat down so my knees are really bent. And then when I come back up, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna push. And then I bring it back down, and I bend back down, and I come up, and I push again, okay? Now, to show you a circuit of that, we've got my assistant, Reese, say hi, Reese. Hi. So Reese is going to show you exactly what you're going to do. And he's going to start at the top, but he's going to move on to bounce, finally followed by two squats. So are you ready, Reese? Okay. 
Let's go. Off you go. Doing good catching now. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Well done. Well done. Okay, put down the socks now. I know that's not 30 seconds, but it's just to give you an example. Now he's going to go to the speed boats. Keep those feet together. Good boy. Very nice. Very nice. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, and then he's going to, after he's done 30 seconds of that, he's going to move on to the soup squat. That's it. Keep the keep it just up above you. Remember to push up. Try and keep your knees nice and straight. That's it. And down. Keep those nice and straight. Good boy. Ah, perfect. Well done. Give Reese a round of applause. Well done, Reese. Thank you. I'll pass you back to Reese now for a second. Okay. So that's Mr. Harrington's five-minute front room workout for today. Okay. So let me know how you get on on Twitter. If you have any good pictures, send them to us. We'd love to see them. And we'll look forward to sending you another lesson very soon. Take care, everybody. See you soon.